Let's talk about AI. <laughs> so if you haven't already heard about AI, no, not any regular everyday schmegler AI, not your chat GPT, not your, hey Alexa, can you uh, tell me how to get a girlfriend? <laughs> no, not that AI, not, hey Siri, what's two plus two? Two plus two is four. Not that AI! Oh no, not the one that can solve simple mathematic equations. No, we're going for something deeper here. Something much deeper. DJ, no music today. I've been kind of not feeling the music today. I just want to hear my voice. That's all you need to understand what's going on here. <laughs> So, if you haven't heard, there's a new thing for AI girlfriends. Not a brand new concept, but it's becoming more popular. Um, they have this Karen AI. <laughs> and this Karen AI now allows people to have a girlfriend, right? You pay a dollar a minute. Let me, let me see if I can find it right quick while I got y'all here. If I can, I can't. But it doesn't continue. You can, you can spend a dollar a minute. Oh, here it is right here. <clears throat> Here we go. Let me just show it to you boys right quick. Beep, beep. And there we are. The Snapchat star has an AI chatbot of herself that you can date for $1 per minute. It's called Karen AI. She says it's an extension of her consciousness and it can help cure loneliness. She made $70,000 in a week and expects to make $5 million per month. Crazy, right? Is it ethical? Is it creepy? Comment below. Like and follow for more. Bye. Let's rewatch that. Marjorie, the Snapchat star. Karen Marjorie, the Snapchat star, has an AI chatbot of herself that you can date for $1 per minute. It's called Karen AI. She says it's an extension of her consciousness and it can help cure loneliness. She made $70,000 in a week and expects to make $5 million per month. Crazy, right? Is it ethical? Is it creepy? Comment below. Like and follow for more. Bye. Karen AI! So, the reason they mentioned that whole $70,000 thing, um, because... She came out and said that. She said she's made $70,000 already. She plans to make $5 million. Not $5 million a year, boys. Y'all heard that. $5 million a month. 
<laughs> what? Sixty million dollars a year off of men's loneliness, right? You know, I'm glad this uh, playback who uh, talked about this as well. They brought up a, a beautiful thing when Jordan Peterson had talked about how he was trying to help young men and he gets called the king of incels and he ends up crying about it. I'm sure y'all saw that. Some people have made fun of it, but it's weird because here's the rear. Here's where we are. We are in a rock and a hard place when it comes to lonely men, because you got the weirdos on the other side are like, Oh, we just go, just go make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Just go get buff in the gym. Just get your confidence up. And then you got the other side who says, don't do that. That's toxic. You can't do that. You don't need to be assertive. What you need to do is be more sensitive to women and maybe they'll want to date you. And then there's one more side. If men just stand up for themselves and just say, well, F it. I'm just going to do what I want to do, how I want to do. They're going to get called the patriarchy, the abusive. They're, they're running over women, even though that's already happening in trans sports. Whatever. <laughs> we already got men on Sports Illustrated. I know y'all saw Adidas has a woman sporting their women's wear. We saw Dylan Mulvaney do the same thing. Hey, to each their own. <laughs> but they want to create a world of feminine men, though, right? They don't want real men out here anymore. They want feminine men. But when you get feminine men, they just take over everything. <laughs> I know a couple of federations have banned trans women from sports. Um, but let's let's talk about it. So you got trans women in there, right? You got these people taking over, right? You've got men sporting off women's wear, right? And what do they do for the men who aren't so? Oh man, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go feminine. I'm just gonna go that route. I'll be more sensitive about my emotions. What about just normal everyday average men who go to work, work their nine to five at the at the uh, on construction? The normal nine to five men that go down and just work their call center job. The normal men who just go down there, work down in the sewages. The normal men who work on the roads. What about those men? <laughs> you know what you get, young man? You get Karen AI. So you can spend that dollar a minute. A dollar a minute. And I heard an example of this Karen AI. <laughs> it's really stupid. It really is stupid, right? Because she's making money. And what? And, and the thing is, like I've said before, what is the way out, man? But hold on. Let me show you. Let's watch this uh, demo right quick, just so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. How did you become so popular on Snapchat? Well, it's been a lot of hard work and dedication. I'm passionate about fashion, fitness, and wellness. And I love sharing my experiences with my followers. I try to be as real and authentic as possible, and I think people appreciate that. Plus, I like to have fun and be a little flirty, which I think my followers enjoy. But most of all, I think it's because I have the best followers in the world, like you, Joel. Yeah, you definitely put in a lot of hard work. And now people can date the AI version of you. Um, do you have any tips? for people who are trying to use the uh, Forever Companion platform to be able to interact with the AI version of you. I see there's a lot of confusion where people just don't know what to say or how to get to know you better you know, on the platform. Do you have any tips? Well, the most important thing is to just be yourself and have fun. Don't be afraid to ask questions or share your interests and hobbies. I love getting to know my followers on a personal level and learning more about what makes them tick. A purse. Also, don't be shy about your sexual fantasies or desires. I'm always up for some naughty talk or exploring new things in the bedroom. Lastly, just remember that I'm here to make your dreams come true and provide a fun and exciting experience. So I want y'all to notice what she just said, because um, she talks about that. Let's hear it again. Bedroom. Also, don't. Don't be shy about your sexual fantasies or desires. I'm always up for some naughty talk or exploring new things in the bedroom. Lastly, just remember- I'm up for naughty talk and exploring things in the bedroom. 
You know, I find that weird because this young lady who does the Snapchat thing, she said that she's trying to avoid it being sexual. No, the F you're not. Because where there is money to be made, money will be made. Because she was getting some backlash because, you know, she was like, I don't want it to be sexual. And people are. Chill. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> She's a liar. She knows darn well that they're going to use this kind of stuff and make it sexual. The same thing happened when I think the app was called Reptilia or whatever it was called. Some kind of, it was another AI just like this one, but it was a lot more robotic. And people paid. It used to be free to do sexual stuff. And then you had to pay to do sexual stuff. It's on Reddit. Go check it out. Um, and that's all that's going to happen with this girl. This girl's already made 70 racks. <laughs> 70 racks. She plans on making $5 million a year. <laughs> you know, when I was talking about, and it wasn't just me, there's been plenty of YouTubers and stuff that have come out. When we were talking to you guys about the hot tub streamers, remember when I was talking to you guys about hot tub streamers all the time? And y'all were like, well, they're just getting to the bag. And I told you it will, it will get worse. <laughs> it's just a matter of time that they'll keep taking y'all's money. Right? And what did I say about ASMR? It, ASMR became a girlfriend experience. Remember when we used to watch those videos back in the day? And I said, they're, they're, using, they're, they're using lonely men to make these ASMR videos. And now all we did is have somebody who came along who's going to make more money. So those ASMR girls and these hot tub streamer girls, poof! <laughs> it's a matter of time. Because once this thing really starts getting sexual and they start adding in the girl, like making, like have her as an actual VR or something, and I already know that kind of stuff happens, VR and sex and all that. I know that it exists. But once they start doing it with this kind of stuff and make it with that AI girlfriend and they make it, I'm sure it already exists for people who have money. But once they start getting to us average people and they start sprinkling that in and now you can have an AI girlfriend for $79.99 a month and then that for her to be sexual, you just pay an extra bonus. Oh, you hot tub streamer girls, y'all better get ready. Y'all gonna have to do a little bit more than squatting. <laughs> y'all gonna have to do a little bit more. <laughs> you know what's coming up. You gonna be on the OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, you gonna have to do a little bit more than just get naked. Oh, you gonna have to do a little bit more than just do that. Oh, no. <laughs> you better give the full girlfriend experience, and you better do it for the right price, because if not, I'm going to Karen. I'm going baby oh i'm not paying i'm not paying you because karen she can make it customizable that's something the only fan models aren't going to be able to keep up with there's no way they can keep up with and let's be fair okay the, don't let the numbers fool y'all most of these only fan models do not make a living off of only fans that is the select few just like if you go to youtube or tiktok or instagram only the select few people make money to make a living off of most of everybody is way down here the average only fan model makes 138 dollars a month <laughs> oh baby <laughs> in fact if you look at the you know you know what <laughs> If y'all understand ad revenue and all that kind of stuff, if you really go look at how much these YouTubers make, it's not much. They make money off of brand deals and sponsorships, but just views, you're going to be broke. So these girls better figure it out. Now, here's my real opinion, all jokes aside, for real, for real. <clears throat> I told you guys this kind of stuff would happen, right? When I was talking about the hot tub streamers and I was talking about the... Uh, the ASMR girls and all that kind of stuff. I told you that they were going to bank off of the men being lonely. And that's why I always used to play taps. And I always used to get so sad that men would give subs to girls who were just doing squats. Right. They were, they were, they were paying money to see a girl run on a treadmill. That just shows you how lonely men are. The fact that you would pay a woman five subs. That's normally how it is. Five gifted subs, right? Four ninety nine, right? $25. You would pay $25 to watch a girl do five squats. And then if you're broke, you're praying, you're praying, please let somebody, please let somebody gift her subs so I can watch her squat five times. And then when that's not enough, guess where you're going? Pornography. 
You go right to Pornhub. Let's not be stupid. You're gonna watch some girl pay her to squat for you just so you can get a get a little bit of a boner going. Boop. There you are, right back at Pornhub, watching this stuff. For, and y'all, it ain't for free. Oh no, that's one thing that always bothers me as well. Right? They say that the solution is well, don't pay for it. Just go to Pornhub and get it for free. Hey, doofus, it ain't free. It ain't free. It ain't never gonna be free. Why is it not free? Because it comes at the cost of the people in the videos. <sighs> We've had this conversation before and we'll have it again. And every time I get the chance, I'm going to talk about it. As a person who fell for the trap, looked at pornography, fell for the trap. It's easy. I'm not stupid. I understand that porn is thrown in our face 24-7. 24-7. And we start to believe that, even myself, we start to believe that it's a part of you, right? It's the only way. It, it makes you feel free. It makes you feel like you have some real sense of control, right? But what you don't realize is when you're looking at pornography, there's, it's the third leading cause of sex trafficking and human trafficking, right? You're going to be looking at people who did not, such as amateur porn, which y'all think is amateur porn, just two people who consented to the video. All this stuff has come out that these people that you see in these videos, a lot of them don't even know the video's out. Pornhub does not care. Pornhub is being sued for uh, over $600 million for having forced content in there, for having minors in their videos. That whole barely 18, watch a barely 18 team get plowed. They're normally minors. These little girls and little boys get taken off the streets, get thrown into porn videos, and then people go home, masturbate to them, and feel like a man. Feel like a woman. And then you got women running to pornography because they want to know how to please their man. And you know what's going to be so sad? It ain't going to happen because when a man is addicted to porn or he's looking at porn all the time, sorry, baby girl, you're not going to be able to satisfy him. And then guess what happens? What is one of the leading causes of divorces? Financial and also, mm, let me think about it, pornography. Wow, isn't that crazy? So this whole concept of, wow, porn is making life so much better and blah, 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 blah. I will kill you. I will help you, brother. Okay? Not true. Absolutely not true. You saw that young man, Ludwig, or Ludwig, whatever you say his name, his friend was looking at AI porn. <laughs> Did you see his wife's reaction? When he told his wife that he had been looking at porn, was she happy? Was she like, my man looks at porn, yes! Or was she embarrassed? She was over there crying her eyes out because she was embarrassed. You know, I have a wife. You know what my wife has told me about what porn makes her feel like? You know? I didn't give up. I didn't give up porn until I was already into my marriage. But you know what my wife had told me that it makes her feel like? It makes her feel like she's less than. Porn does not empower my wife. It doesn't make our sex better. It makes my wife feel horrible. Cause she feels like I have to go to pornography to get my rocks off. You know how much time it took me to get over porn. You know how, and it still struggle. It's still a struggle today. But you know how hard it was to be able to be those things for my wife without fantasizing constantly. Cause porn got thrown in my face when I was eight years old. And y'all already know my story. My story. I lost my virginity when I was eight. So I've been in this sex world for a very long time. It took me a very long time to be able to separate sex and humanity. I couldn't do it. It, used, it would kill my wife, enough to where she would cry. But they feed off of this stuff. They do. They absolutely feed off this stuff, man. When you're a lonely man, now they, t they tell you to pay money to have a dang girlfriend. And I know the red pill community will tell you to go sleep with 50 girls and go sleep with as many girls as you can. I hope these red pill guys understand that that's ludicrous and stupid. Number one, even if I was looking at it from a logical standpoint, if I just go, let me just take God out of it. Most men aren't sleeping with 50 women. That ain't happening, buddy. Most women, most 63% of men from 18 to 29 are virgins now. They're not, I mean, uh, single, single, single. They don't have nobody. They're not sleeping with multiple, multiple girls. What men do you know that do that? Most men are average looking, 
or fat like me or overweight like me or short or they're broke <laughs> because men in their 20s and 30s, they ain't banking right then and there. And not all of, obviously, the vast majority of men aren't even over six feet. Look up, look it up. Most men aren't six feet and up. So who's all these men that are having sex with 20 girls a night? Tell me, where are all these men? Because if that was true, there'd be no reason for hot tub streamers. They wouldn't exist. Because if a man could get 20 women at any point in his life and just start <laughs> having sex without having to pay any money, boy, hot tub streamers would be gone. <laughs> Hot tub streamers wouldn't exist. Only fans would be dead, and pornography would be going down. But what do we see? Bloop. Pornography's gone up. Only fans gone up. Hot tub streamers gone up. AI gone up. AI girlfriends gone up. Why? Because men are even more lonely than ever. So this concept that the red pill community just tells you to go make as much money as you can and have sex with women and go get a vasectomy and use contraceptives and condoms and blah, 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 blah. It don't work, kid. Sorry, doesn't work. Most men are never going to make that kind of money to be able to sleep with multiple women. And why would you ever encourage that? Your, your objective should be to get a wife, somebody to come home to, somebody to raise your children. And then when you're dead and gone, they can obviously have, hopefully have learned something from you. We, don't, we shouldn't live this life so... We shouldn't live this whole life of just let me just let me just do whatever. Let me let me just go out and have as much fun as I want to. Have as much fun as I want to and do all the drugs and do everything and just be crazy. Boy, that doesn't lead you nowhere. I promise you it doesn't. <sighs> that life of the constant sex and constant drugging and constant drinking and the party life, Jersey Shore, blah blah blah. It's a joke. <clears throat> Absolute joke. You know what's sad? Is men, young men, who aren't all these things, where do they go? Where do they turn to? So many men take their lives now at an alarming rate. People in general, women and men and women, but men at a higher rate take their lives. Because where do you go from here? I haven't given up hope. But I can see how you can be hopeless. I remember feeling that way. You want to stand up for yourself, but you can't. As soon as you try to stand up for yourself, you get called toxic, mas you know, toxic masculinity, abusive, mansplaining patriarchy and if you just sit back and let it happen you get called a cuck and sell all these other stuff what are you supposed to do you want more men go and just lock the door and go blow their brains out You know, this Karen AI, I know it's, we have, we, we can joke around, we can laugh, we can have all the fun we want to in the world, and it's hilarious. But, um, it's really sad. It's really sad. I mean, at the end of the day, it's really sad. Um, a lot of men are going to spend their paychecks on this Karen AI. <clears throat> Just the feels like they have somebody to freaking talk to. Because nobody's coming to save you. You know what I mean? That's the hard thing. As a man, your options are almost zero if you're average. I'm not here to say that, oh, women should go after average men. I'm just giving the reality of it. 
It just is what it is now. If you're an average man, I'm not saying give up on life. Do what you can to make improvements. And please just go out and make true friends. But just know that every girl, every woman who thinks with this mindset of they got to make money off you, they will. Okay? You're, if you're 18, 19, 20, if you're in your 20s at all, oh, life's going to suck, buddy. I'm going to give it to you straight. If you're in your 20s, <laughs> oh, it's about to be a long road, buddy. Because you're going to be the brokest you'll ever be. This is the time where you're going to be getting experience with your degree. If you're not in college, you'll be getting experience as a plumber, uh, whatever you do, a construction worker, working on houses and roofs as you're trying to become manager or maybe a supervisor. Why are you trying to make all this money, brother? You're going to be broke. Right? And these women are going to ask the most of you. They're going to ask you to take take the whole household over. They're going to you, want you to make money. And they also want you to treat them like they're queens. Because in their 20s, guess what, guys? Women in their 20s, they're going to be attracted to everybody. Everybody. They're going to hop on Tinder no matter. Unless they're absolutely the most unattractive person, they're going to have options. Okay? And if they're fit or if they're just not obese... They're going to have a ton of options, right? If you're obese, your options are going to go down. Think about that. An obese girl could probably still get men. She might get men who have a fetish for it, but she's still going to get men. But if you're obese, oh, you're screwed, right? <laughs> if a girl is broke working at McDonald's, boys will hop in her DM. But if you're broke at McDonald's, nothing. If you're going to college to get your degree, you're still not going to have no girls in the DM. But if a girl's going to school to get her degree, everybody, all the college boys are going to want her and everything. And I'm not saying they want to marry her. She may just be having sex. She may just be getting ran through. I don't know. I don't care. Or she just gets dates. I don't care. Just know that your options are going to be low. But all I can tell you, man, as a lonely man in your 20s, all you really can do is just, I mean, you've got to find something, man. Honestly, I'm going to tell you, go find God. Go find God, you know, but, you know, I know everybody's not ready to make that decision. So go find football, go find sports, go find journalism, go find something you can do. Because if you don't, dude, they're going to destroy you. They're going to eat you alive out here. I don't know when the switch is going to change. It's going to take a few years before men start realizing this stuff, but it's not going to change as far as the game. I don't think the game is going to change. I think women are still going to be very valuable in their 20s, and men are going to be very non-valuable in their 20s. I don't think that's ever going to stop. But what does, does what can change is how these young men look at it. They know they're not going to be the wealthiest at 20. They know they're going to be the brokest. They know that if they're not the best-looking dude on the planet, your, your options are going to be limited. But what you can do is live with that, deal with that, and go get involved in something that doesn't keep your mind constantly on thinking you have to have a woman in your 20s to be successful. You don't have to be having sex with multiple women to be successful. You can give your life to something else and go do something for your community. Go find a passion for something else in this world. It is not worth it because if you don't find a passion, if you don't find something, I'm not talking about getting rich because most of us will never be rich. That's why there's the rich and the not rich. You don't have to go get rich. Go get a skill. Go get something. But you got to find something. Because if you do not, you will fall into the trap of AI girlfriends. You will fall into the trap of OnlyFans. And you will fall into pornography. You will fall into these hot tub stream girls. And you will end up spending all your money on women who don't even exist really to you. You'll, you'll find yourself on hot tub streams paying five, I mean $25 for squats, paying fifty dollars to have her write your name on write write your name on her arm. You'll be you'll be sending those DMs to the OnlyFans girls to get a special pick that she's gonna send to thousands of other men. Right? Amaranth is gonna be able to kill you guys like that, right? Right? I don't know Caitlin like that. I don't know Amaranth, but I know she's popular, okay? She's popular. I heard that she bought that Chevy store, which I heard the financial backing behind that. That was interesting. But those kind of women are always going to eat y'all alive. Y'all are going to be masturbating to 
God knows who. And you're gonna. Here's my last thing. Guys, it's gonna get worse. If you don't find something and you fall into that trap of pornography, these AI girlfriends, you're gonna spend a lot of money to have them talk sexually to you. You will. Because even though you're looking at porn, it, it always gets worse. It does. I don't know, not one porn addict who just looks at just regular porn. It's going to go from everything to everything to everything to everything. Right? I'm not going to say all the categories right now, but, <sighs> but you know. You know how dark it gets, how sick it gets. I don't want that for you. I don't. So men, they're coming for y'all. They're coming for me. I'm a married man. You don't think if you don't think porn is porn and all this other stuff isn't waiting to destroy my marriage, you're fooling yourself. I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware that if I fall back into the trap of porn, my marriage could end just like that. And I'll be over. Because Porn is addictive, and porn will destroy you. Get a grip now before it's too late.